Amar and Kundan are brothers. Now in their 40s, they have lived together almost their entire lives in the hills of Hamachal Pradesh. They share just about everything, their work, their home, and a wife. Tell me about your wedding day. We have a simple wedding, Kundan says. There is a bride and a groom, and the younger brother is simply attached to the elder brother. And this is their wife, Indira Devi. The trio have worked side by side as husbands and wife for more than 25 years. It's been going on for ages. My sister-in-law has two husbands. My mother-in-law also has two husbands, she says. It's called fraternal polyandry, where the brothers of one family are all married to the same woman. It's not common in most of India, but still flourishes in remote parts of the Himalayas. There are about 200 families in this steep hillside village that function pretty much the same, although some wives have three or four husbands, depending on how many brothers there are. Typically, the marriages are arranged. What about love? Do you love both of these husbands equally, or was this just for tradition? I like both of them. I look at them the same. When I am troubled, I tell them to marry someone else. <laughs> but they won't. What they do want is children with their shared wife. This is a bit embarrassing, but how do you deal with sex at night? That we have to work out. We make shifts, change shifts, and sleep on alternate days, or else it won't work. Is it difficult to have to share a wife between the two of you? you have to, think about to run the families, we have to do this, overcome the hurdles, and we have to control our hearts from feeling too much also. But feelings grow, and so did their family. They have three adult children now, who all live and work together in the same house. Do you know which child belongs to which biological father? We tell the kids that both fathers are the same. The family doesn't know and doesn't care. The daily grind takes all their time and energy. There is no room for vehicles here, so everything is carried by head and hand. Life is simple. And most villagers do hard labor on their tiny plots of inherited land. Younger brother Amar breaks stones for a living in his backyard and at a mine. His wife does backbreaking work in the fields, careful not to step on snakes. In this difficult terrain with few jobs available and very little land to share, one of the reasons that polyandry is popular here is because of pure economics. The practice goes back centuries because land is so scarce in this hill country. If Amar and Kundan had taken separate wives, they might have had to split the family's little land. So they stick to tradition. Do you want this tradition to continue with your three children? I feel it is good for my daughter to have two husbands, she says. If they marry like that, they will be happy in the future. Her 17-year-old daughter isn't so sure about that. How many husbands would you like? One, two, or three? Team. I would like one husband, she says. But in this remote corner of India, Sunita Pundir knows she is bound by custom. Will you marry for love or you will marry for tradition? I will marry for both, for tradition as well as for love. I will never leave our tradition even if I have to forego love. I will never spoil my parents' reputation and my brothers. Sunita's two brothers have already decided they will follow tradition and share a wife. Yeah, okay. Family marriage joint system. Already. My opinion is that in a family there should be a joint system, he says. The joint system is very good. Family runs very well that way. To find one, they'll have to travel to another village. The gene pool here is too small. The villagers say almost everyone here is related in some way. There's another incentive for polyandry. For every 1,000 boys born in this region, there are about 850 girls. 
As education and India's rapid modernization seep into this hill country, though, its ancient traditions may fade away. Until then, life for these villagers will be much the same as it was for their forefathers and mothers hundreds of years ago. Sarah Seidner, CNN, Himachal Pradesh, India. It's called polyandry, one woman, several husbands. It's an unusual arrangement. Today, polyandry only persists in isolated villages in the Himalayas. When it was time for Sunita Kamari to wed, her family, like many in India, made arrangements. But they involve more than a dowry and a celebration. Sunita has not one husband, not two husbands, but three, all brothers. What must her life be like Westerners might find the practice shocking, but for this community, it works fine. One reason, sheer practicality. In the Himalayas, arable land is scarce. Farms are tiny. If each generation divided each family's holdings, everyone would starve. Polyandry preserves the farm and the family's future. Unlike most men in India, Husbands here handle domestic duties. They're willing to help with the cooking and child care. In fraternal polyandry, a family picks a wife for its oldest son. The marriage can also include his younger brothers. They don't have to join in, but most do. No one takes a decision regarding one's own marriage. Everyone at home sits down together, and then it is decided with the consent of everyone. Polyandry also functions as a form of birth control. No matter how many husbands she has, a wife can get pregnant only so often. If each man were to wed separately, the population here would explode. But what about sex, the forbidden core of the polyandry taboo? In truth, it's a matter of scheduling, and on the wife's part, forbearance. Tolerance is very important. The wife has to understand everything. The older brother's nature, the younger brother's nature. What about jealousy, that bane of even the most mundane marriage? If the wife is smart, she will take turns each night to sleep with all the brothers. It's not like the older brother wants her the whole time. Until recently, no one here much cared what the outside world thought. Isolation had preserved a way of life that had withered everywhere else. But a road now links the region to distant cities. And on roofs, once decorated only with prayer flags, satellite dishes sprout. This village has entered the modern world, whose images of romance stand in sharp contrast to polyandry. But polyandry here faces a bigger threat, education. As more people are becoming more educated, we are also practicing family planning. If a father has only one son, there will be no question about the land. Therefore, common marriages will come to an end. In two, perhaps three generations, polyandry may vanish here. But for now, those who practice it find comfort in the familiar. I myself feel that common marriage is very good. I feel like everyone should live like our family. Even if we do not have anything to eat or drink, we sit happily, we live peacefully. 